Hi, I'm back. I have um, finished to layering. So I want to put it um, out in the sun, but it's very cloudy now. I hope it will dry. Um, yes, I hope it will dry uh, so fast as the other um, dries, dried. So, um, of course, uh, I will put them out and then I show you the other papers that are dry. Not all are pressed, but um, I will show you all from the three attempts, from the three previous attempts that I had. So, I see you in a minute. Hi, I'm back in the place that I'm always been, not in the place that I've been previous on the floor. So now I will show you the uh, the dried paper that I coffee dyed. Yes, it's a little bit sad that I couldn't show you how I take them out, but um, uh, the video wasn't how I said previous and uh, not very good. So these are um, pressed and that are my, my third attempt here and these are not pressed. So you see very fluffy, but I show you them very quick, not uh, in depth because it's coffee dyed paper <laughs> it's not so very yes but um, these are cards that I dyed then an uh, envelope and that uh, accident that I had with this envelope here and then that ref paper but uh, the colors are very lovely, I must say. It's a very good technique to bring out the dye that, were, uh, that was the print from the envelope here too. But I love that uh, effect here. So I will keep it, of course, I don't throw it away. That are uh, that was cheese no um, cheesecloth I think don't know but uh, that was from a printed uh, sheet but yes I love the color I will of course use it that is not that I can use use. That was the print, uh, printed sheet here. Here uh, I made a stencil with um, um, with uh, glue gun. So it ca it, it didn't came uh, it came very good I think for the first attempt. Here the yummy edges so good I love it that was a, a very fine doily but it didn't did I, um, it did the effect that I want that I wanted so this was a trim here I love the effect here So, I'm very, um, I like how it came out here, I teared, you see, that's a little bit sad, but um, I will use it anyway for collage or so. Here I put um, the tea bag on top, also I like the effect. So that is the first attempt here. 
then the second attempt was a lot better here I dyed a couple of envelope with a window in it so that's that then how I dimensioned uh, I coffee dyed a couple of <clears throat> sorry index cards I hope I'm not too fast but I don't want to bore you <laughs> so I make a little bit faster here are the, the, the card ones Here also I had to tear it, it won't go away, because it became very syrupy and, and of course the edges were, um, were very good, very dark, you see here too, that, are, that is a newer um, uh, butterfly book that I tried to coffee dyed, dye I love this book that there are all butterflies from the world on uh, in it in that book graph paper also tear a little bit but I don't mind I don't care it came lovely <laughs> And that are the normal paper here with a couple of doilies and but look at that I love that color I hope you see that too in the in the camera but I I think it's a little bit lighter than uh, in 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 reality in reality it's very dark tea dyed paper love it and that was a stencil here and uh, corrugate cardboard hope you see yes so I go a little bit faster that was very thin paper here um, <laughs> I made that with my daughter on the floor is um, our floor in the in the room from my daughter is that uh, pattern and we go with the pencil over on top uh, we color that in so I dyed them too oh look at that that is also beautiful so now I'm very came good out, how I would say. Here is the netting that uh, burlapy netting thingy. <laughs> that are uh, tracing paper I think that I have to do a little bit of um, I don't know maybe I leave it that is the glue gun stencil But they are lovely. I love this paper, and I made a lot of. So, and on each side is different. That I that this I like also very, very much. Here the edges lovely. Corrugated, corrugated cardboard here. It's stuck, it's, it's stuck a little bit, but uh, 
Here are the doilies, the paper doilies. Here was, uh, was the the tablecloth from my grandma, and of course I tear it here. Here too, and this was this paper here uh, was on on the bottom, so they are very darker. Here you see, love it. Here too, wow. So beautiful, I love that. When I get to Italy to um, visit visit my family, I will I will search plastic doilies <laughs> because they are so beautiful and the prints are very good with these doilies. This was the I love that here. This was the netting fabric here with the flowers on top that I show you showed you when I made when I sprayed the paper. And this I have to do another time on the books. Or you can uh, iron it when you want. But for me it's good. It's good like this. So that are the second attempt and now can come the come the third attempt and of course it it's it's a lot more but um, of course it not press is not yet pressed the dart that and uh, that envelope with the window and these are the big ones. So, and of course a couple uh, index cards here and there. Oh, that is beautiful too with the edge here. Love it. So, these two. No, I'm... It came very good. So that's that, then the paper, and I used almost the same, oh sorry, almost the same stencil and doilies. Oh, that I like too. See that? Wow, love it. This is our cardboard here that I dyed. The Look on one. But the third attempt I like it I like very good the most. Because the car came out came out very dark and also the stencil um, printed printed very good here. I take away the paper and it was a lot more wet and then came out this beautiful, uh, how I should say, pattern? No, it's not the pattern, but this is our, also the card, uh, craft paper. And that are also the, uh, uh, Tracing paper. Here are the beautiful flower netting fabric. But I have to do a little bit faster and don't want to bore you. But I hope I can I couldn't help you a little bit with the questions that I uh, that you had. Or a couple uh, people had so you you have to take when it's nearly dry you take the first um, the first layer of paper away and put it to dry on the lid or where you want and then could uh, can dry also the paper underneath 
and you go on until you are on the bottom now here are uh, here was the tracing paper oh sorry the tracing paper on top so you get that uh, effect here that was another um, um, a glue gun stencil but it didn't came out well look at that darkness that edges are that paper is so yummy <laughs> love it these are tear a little bit here too but I will I, I will use uh, that's the other paper you see but I take it away and that's not not so very uh, tragic I can use it for collage and and for other things So here on top uh, was envelopes. He was that is a pocket that I got in a happy mail from a die cut, and I liked how it how how it came out. But I had I had not so much, so I couldn't use the one. And I like that because every paper came different out, so love it, love it. Here too, the edges with that lovely netting, netting uh, fabric. Oh, and that, that is my favorite one. Look at that. Lovely netting prints. Uh, that was lovely. That is lovely. Love it. That is my favorite. <laughs> and of course, this uh, with the tablecloth here too. Look at how dark it came out love it <laughs> so get the bucket get the black plastic thin or bucket and make some tea coffee dyeing because comes out very well that idea is so good uh Jackie, i think no i'm not sure from medieval mirage um, I have to go and see how her name is. Oh, that's beautiful too with the edge here. So, that is all. That's all my lovely, yummy tea dyed paper. So I hope I can, uh, I couldn't help you. And I hope you liked the video. So when you liked it, give it a thumbs up, of course. And have you questions or anything else, you can uh, put it, um, ask me in the comments and I will, of course, answer you. So... We see you the next time. Bye, everyone.